Good morning. It's Thursday, October 14th. I'm Suzanne Watley, and you're listening to the LA Report from KPCC and LAist.com. Here's your morning news. One of the most powerful political leaders in Los Angeles has been indicted on corruption charges. L.A. City Council member Mark Ridley Thomas is named in a 20-count federal indictment. He's accused of participating in a quid pro quo agreement with the former dean of the USC School of Social Work, Marilyn Louise Flynn. Here's KPCC's Frank Stoltz. It dates back to 2017 when Ridley Thomas was an L.A. County supervisor he allegedly agreed to support county contracts for the school with the Department of Children and Family Services, probation, and the Department of Mental Health worth millions of dollars in revenue to the USC school. In exchange, Flynn allegedly agreed to provide a relative of Ridley Thomas. We know from multiple sources that it is his son with graduate school admission, a full-time scholarship, and a paid professorship. Frank says federal prosecutors also say the scheme involved funneling Ridley Thomas campaign money through USC to a nonprofit operated by his son, Sebastian. USC says that it told the U.S. Attorney's Office about the money in the summer of 2018 and has been cooperating with the investigation ever since. L.A. City Council President Nuri Martinez calls the charges serious and said the council will need to take appropriate action. And Council Member Joe Buscaino says that he should resign. The Port of Los Angeles will become a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week operation to help unclog congestion in the supply chain. But Harbor Trucking Association CEO Matt Schrapp says that there needs to be improvements for that to happen. For one, he says truck drivers need more support in hooking up those shipping containers and getting the cargo out. He says there are too many truck chassis sitting idle with empty containers on them. If we do not have the ability to secure a chassis to move the cargo off the dock, then we can't move it. The nearby Port of Long Beach created additional space for those returns after it started experimenting with a 24-7 schedule a couple of weeks ago. Here's Port Deputy Director Noel Hagisabo. That will inject the flexibility that truck drivers need to return the equipment where it needs to be returned and pick up containers. President Biden says that truckers working overnight shifts should be able to move cargo faster without adding to roadway congestion. The Alisol fire in Santa Barbara County is last reported to be more than 15,000 acres and 5% contained. There's a smoke advisory through this afternoon. You're advised to keep windows and doors closed and run your AC and an air purifier. There's no contract deal yet for one of Hollywood's biggest unions. Picket signs are printed up and waiting, and KPCC's John Horn reports there could be a work stoppage as soon as next week. The International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, or IATSE, which covers below-the-line workers such as editors, cinematographers, and costume designers, has been deadlocked in contract negotiations with film and TV producers for nearly half a year. Now, a week after IATSE members voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike, the union said it will in fact walk out Sunday at midnight if there's not a better contract offer. Union President Matthew Loeb said in a statement, Without an end date, we could keep talking forever. Our members deserve to have their basic needs addressed now. The producers say they will keep trying to hammer out a new pact. If an agreement can't be reached, almost all film and TV production would cease immediately, especially if Hollywood's Actors Union refuses to cross IATSE's picket lines. I'm John Horn. Wildlife rescuers have released two cleaned birds who were oiled by the OC pipeline leak. A ruddy duck and an eared grebe were treated and released yesterday. Officials have reported 28 oiled birds so far. 45 birds have been recovered, but they were dead. The cause of the spill is still under investigation. Thank you for listening to the L.A. Report. I'm Suzanne Watley. Join us again next time. Meantime, read more news at LAist.com and listen live at kpcc.org.